What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to better understand brain injury scoring so that you can better anticipate and plan treatments for your patients with brain injuries and also pass the NPTE. The first scale you need to know is the Glasgow Coma Scale. This is usually used in a more acute or emergency setting. The GCS is made up of three sections, the first of which is movement, graded on a one to six scale. One means that there is no movement visible. Two is that they move into a decerebrate position, shown here, which usually indicates a corticospinal tract injury at the brainstem. Three, they move into a decorticate position, which is usually a corticospinal tract injury at the thalamus. Four, they move away from their pain. Five, they move towards their pain. And six is that they move to command. The second section is verbal responses graded on a one to five scale. One meaning that there is no verbal response. Two means that they make some kind of sounds. A grade three means that they can talk, but it's not appropriate for the situation. Four means that they can talk, they're just confused about what's going on. And then five means that they're completely oriented. The final category involves what they do with their eyes, graded on a one to four scale. So one is that there's no eye movement at all. Two is that they open their eyes to pain. Three is that they open their eyes to command. And four is spontaneous eye opening. So this scale you can score from a three all the way up to a 15. A score of three to eight means that you have a really severe brain injury. A rating of nine to 12 is moderate and a rating of 13 to 15 is mild. Now notice that there's no rating for completely uninjured. If you score the highest, you still have a mild brain injury, but your deficits aren't as life-threatening or as severe as you would be with a lower score. Now the second scale you need to know about is the Ranchos Los Amigos scale, which rates cognitive functioning. And this is typically used as someone recovers from a coma or a loss of consciousness. If you've ever watched someone as they're coming back from anesthesia, you know, maybe after getting their wisdom teeth out, you may see them go through all of these levels, but at a speeded up version. So level one is where the patient is completely unconscious and unresponsive. They're basically in a deep sleep. As they recover, they'll go to level two, which is general responses that are usually inconsistent, non-purposeful, and non-specific responses to stimuli. In level three, they'll have more localized responses. So still inconsistent responses to a type of stimuli, but a little bit more localized to what and where it's happening. Then they go to level four, which is confused, agitated. So they have increased activity, still non-purposeful responses that are pretty incoherent and they are able to have brief attention. Level five is confused, inappropriate. So they have random, non-purposeful responses to commands. They're easily distracted. They may be able to have a simple conversation and have some memory of tasks that they have previously learned. Level six is confused appropriate. So they're able to have some goal directed action with cueing. They may have carryover of relearned tasks. They'll have some memory and they'll have incorrect but appropriate conversation. Level seven is automatic appropriate. At this point, basically they're like a robot with their ADLs. So they're able to go about those daily activities in a very routine manner, but may not be able to respond well if anything is changed or out of place. They'll be a really slow learner. They can do some structured recreational activity, but they'll still have really poor judgment. Level eight is purposeful appropriate, where they're able to integrate their experiences into their responses. They're independent with learned activities, but they still may have poor judgment, reasoning, and stress responses. Now that's the highest level of the Ranchos Los Amigos scale. Once they get there, they're not 100% back to their normal selves. They're just a lot more functional and able to operate in a normal daily setting. Now it's time for NPT Jeopardy! Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, Two, one. This is the maximum score for the Glasgow Coma Scale, and it means they're not in an emergency situation. They still may have deficits or injury, but it's not very severe. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or you can comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Otherwise, good luck studying. Go change the world.